Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Welcome to the overview video on how to use the Divi Social Sharing Buttons module. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can add the module to your layout, show you the many layouts, settings, and features that it has, and talk about some tips on how you can use it and set it up on your pages, posts, and templates. And as we go through this tutorial, it is always helpful to keep the list of our settings and features open. I think that's really helpful as it lists all of the labels of the settings and then the help text explaining what each item does. And of course, you can always check out our demos to see some of the many options that are available for styling the module. All right, so first of all, let's just decide where to put the module. This is kind of the first step and it's kind of an obvious one, but I wanted to talk about it because there actually are a number of possibilities here. So you could put the module directly on any page or post, and that's fine, like that's kind of the obvious. Just like any other module, you can put it anywhere within the Divi Builder. So putting it on a page might be something that you wanna do occasionally. So you may have you know, just a few pages on your website and you want to have the sharing buttons there for someone to share the content that your page is about. Typically you think of someone sharing something that is more like a blog post or you know a product or anything else like that. And it's, it's something that would be better suited for putting the module in the theme builder and, and doing it once rather than needing to put it on a bunch of different pages and always be adding it. And so that's where the advantage of using the theme builder comes in. And we kind of talk about this here, you know, it's great for blog posts. You know, you could put it at the top or the bottom of the post. WooCommerce products, perfect for that. Any type of events, like maybe you're using our Divi events calendar, you could put it on the event page. Maybe you want to just put it on, on a page or post directly, that's fine, but you could also put it on the footer. Any other custom post type that you have, you know, for recipes, anything at all, your, your portfolio projects, anything that you want to share, my recommendation is that you use the theme builder, but of course that's that's totally up to you. So I'm gonna jump over to a website here and actually walk you through. Now I have it installed already, just installs like any other plugin. So we have the module installed. So let's go ahead and look at the page. I'm gonna add it to a page first and I'll just work from that page that way you get the idea, but then we can talk more about the theme builder. All right, so here I am on a regular page. It's completely blank, so I'm gonna add a row, and then I'm going to type here, social, and then you'll see social sharing buttons right there. So I add that to the layout, and then the first thing we're presented with is adding networks. So it, it doesn't have any set by default. It allows you to totally choose. So if I click on add new item here, it automatically will you know choose Facebook but right here under network there's a drop down and you can pick any of these that you want and so you can go back it's kind of like an inner settings here so right now you can see that there's one added I could either duplicate it like that and then click the setting change it like that or I can continue to just click the plus button and then have this pop up like that so it really doesn't matter. You can just go ahead and add, you know, as many of these as you want. And obviously you want to decide which ones of these that you uh, want on your website based on maybe the type of content that you're sharing or maybe even the type of users that you have or or even where you want your content to be shared. Um, it just There's a lot of factors that are hard to really know but are worth considering, you know, as you're setting this up. All right, so I've added eight, and at the time of this recording, we have these eight. Now, when you're watching this in the future, there could easily be a lot more. Um, we had to start somewhere. So here we are. We have eight of them added, and there is a default layout assigned. So we're still in the content tab here, and that's really all that you need to do in the content tab. That's other than going into each of the individual ones later on, I'll show you that. But for now, I wanna go over to the design tab and the first toggle here is layout. So under layout, there are four options. The first one is where it was set by default. The icon is on the left and then the text is on the right. And that you can see that the labels are pretty simple. So here's the next one, icon top, 
text bottom. So I'll click that and you can see it completely changes the structure. And for each of these, you'll see that there's actually the number of columns setting. So you can open that. So like on tablet, more than likely you would want to change it to two probably. And then on phone, you'd probably want to make it one. And that will depend on a lot of things, how big your icon is, how much text you have, how much spacing you have, all of those things, of course. Now, if we change it to the next one, icon only, no text, well, then we get a different type of setting here. We don't need the column setting because they'll automatically wrap, but here you have an alignment, so you could change the whole group of them to be aligned left, right, or center. And then we have one more option, just text only, no icon. And then obviously you can adjust the, the left and right and center alignment of the text on all, actually on all of these. So it's, it's very versatile. So you can see that we have four layouts. So that's really handy. And then the number of columns, and then there's some settings under icon. So you can choose the icon color. Obviously by default, it's set to white. I'll just show you when I change it, see how it changes. And then it's also important to remember that what we're doing here is, is uh, we're in the main design tab. We're changing the icon settings for all of them. I could say use custom icon size and I could, I don't know, type in something, even if it was pretty big, right? And there you go. So just like that, I changed all of the icons, the icon background color. Notice how the background colors of the buttons and the icons are set to match the default from their brand, all right? So you don't have to go searching for these colors. Uh, that would be annoying. Um, they come in by default, but you can certainly override them. Now, if I was changing just the icon background color, I'll show you that. That would be like that. Okay, so you could, you could certainly do that. So we have the color, size, and background, and then Border, you could change, you know, the, let's just make it a hundred pixels. So you can see that it makes it a circle. Um, really nice. A lot of times I like to do rounded things. Obviously you have all the normal settings here. You, you would expect with, with a border, you know, you can pretty much do anything, uh, and make some crazy layouts, box shadow. So we, we've, we've tried to add as many features as we possibly could. Next is share text, and this just, you know, adjusts all of the text and font styles for for the share on Facebook, share on LinkedIn, those texts there. Very familiar, you know, all of the normal things that you're used to there with, with Divi. And then there's borders. Now, this, this would affect the button, okay? So let's say I wanted to have, like, a, a, a nice little rounded corner on all the buttons. See that? You can see how it makes a nice rounded. Okay, and then under spacing would be the next one. So we have icon space or padding, icon padding, and you could adjust that. So that's the space between this yellow border and the icon. And then there's spacing between, that's the space between the buttons. So it's right on, it's on 10 by default. Maybe you wanted to make it 30, you know, and maybe, and then there's, bottom spacing. Maybe you'd want to make that the same like that. Okay. Then there's button padding and that's that, that's this, that would be like the spacing inside the button. I'll show you that more than likely you'd want to make it the same all the way around. See how it's how it's the spacing inside here. So it's already looking a lot better, you, you know, adding, since we have this round, you know, adding it like that. And then the other ones would just be affecting um, the module, the, the margin and padding. All right, so that's the settings. Now, of course, we could change it here. Like, say we change it to top, icon on top. Um, there you go. Now, obviously, this is ugly looking with the yellow, but I'm just trying to show you what all is possible. It's very, very, um, I shouldn't say unlimited, but I think it is. It feels unlimited what you can do here. Um, it's it's actually kind of neat what you can achieve. I, I really I really like it a lot. Um, obviously that one's more boring, but hey, you know. Now let me show you a couple other things. Over when we would go into each one of these, so I could go into this Facebook one, and notice it says we have share text and background. Well, the share text 
is set to, for all of these, share on and then the network name. Well, I could change that. Maybe um, maybe I want to say, here, I have, I have an idea. So maybe I want to say share this product, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like if this was on a product page or, you know, a recipe, what, whatever it would be, you could change that and you could make it just, you could just say Facebook if you want it to be nice and short. In fact, if you had the layout, depending on how, on what layout you were using here, um, that's like this one here. See how these are stacked? Well, now, now it just fits real nice. So, you know, consider that as well. So as far as the individual settings, I was saying the background. Now this would affect the Facebook color. It would override it would override that. See how I can I can change it. And then of course the default will go to what we have as the network here. Okay? So we've done that for you. That would be annoying to try to find all those hex colors. All right, so we're still inside the Facebook network. Now we have fine control over everything now. So with this icon, I could change just this one, just the Facebook one to orange. I could make this one a different size. I don't know why you would want to do this, but I'm just saying you can, okay? Uh, let's see what else is here. You know, you could, you could individualize these, if that even is a word. Let me see what would happen if I did that. So there, I just added a rounded corner that's different from the rest. Maybe I want there to be a purple border. There you go. And a box shadow like that. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's that's crazy. And now I could I could change the the share text. I could make it totally different in here. I could maybe I want it to be really huge. Of course, I'm running out of space. But you get the idea. The idea is that you could change this one to be different. Um, I could change the the button border. Now that's that's a round, you know, the whole button here. We call these buttons, right? The whole thing. The network is a button. So I'm just going to, well, I just exited out of it all. But you got the idea. That's how you use the module. There's lots and lots of settings. So what I want to show you now is as simple as adding this to a theme builder template. So what you would want to do if you just in case you're not familiar with the theme builder, right now it would just show up on that page. But I already have a blog post set up and I could go down here to Divi theme builder and go in here and there's templates. And these templates basically you create a layout once and that template will automatically apply. And in this case I have this one chosen to apply to all posts. So all blog posts will get this template. And so when I edit this, this is the Divi Builder that opens up for the blog posts. And I just set this up a few minutes ago, very generic. Here's the, the title of the post will show and the author and date and all that, the image, the excerpt, and then the content. And then I added uh, comments and stuff. So here you go. This is where you would want to put your social sharing module probably. So just go through here, add your module, you know, type, you know, find the module, the social sharing buttons. You could add it here or, you know, I would recommend maybe here. You could put a headline above it, like add a text module and put a headline above it. Say, you know, share this blog post with your friends or whatever. Okay. And then you have the little icons or buttons, whatever. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this is helpful. Um, the theme builder is amazing. We have an actual course on it because we think everyone should use it. And, and I've been saying that here on, on our tutorial, on our documentation to use the theme builder. You don't have to. I'm just saying it, it, it makes sense to use it. And really the rest of the tutorial here was just showing you what I showed you in the video, choosing your layout. Here's the, some of the defaults, how they look by default. I think the key would be choosing the number of columns on each device. And then here's a list of some of the design settings that you can adjust. And it's, I feel like we've covered it all as far as the settings that we have in the module. Certainly let us know if you think, you know, we're missing a setting to do this or that. Try to make it so that it's very user friendly and 
gives you everything you need. And as far as networks, you know, some people ask, you know, what what other networks can we add? Well, let us know. Give us some good reason why you would like that one or, you know, give me some numbers, why it's popular, what, you know, what kind of content you can share to that. And yeah, we'll certainly consider that. So hope this was helpful, how to use the module and be sure to check out our other documentation documents here as well.